Marco, just before we get going, I want to talk to you about a special day here in Canada. And as we just spoke to Lloyd Barker, a guy that I'm sure you know of, we talked about it. And I'd like to get your thoughts as a former player. It's called Bell Let's Talk Day, and it, and it deals with mental health issues. And I'm sure as I asked Lloyd, I'll ask you, Marco, in that locker room, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that have got to show a lot of macho. They've got to show uh, that they are a steel, that they are made of a brick wall. And many times there's guys that are suffering and, you know, they're afraid to talk to a teammate or a coach. What do you want to say, uh, Marco, and maybe to some, to some semi-pro players, pro players, and even teenagers today that might be going through something like that? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's always a, uh, a difficult thing for uh, people to address. You know, we always look at someone's physical problems first, and they're easy to deal with. Um, on the mental side, uh, they're sort of uh, taboo or unknown for some people. And, you know, if, if someone's down or t always tired, you know, we'll, we'll look at them like, oh, you know, they're just soft and, you know, uh, that they can't handle the, the pressure. and um, So that, that, that can weigh on, on an athlete's mind mentally, for sure. We have to remember that athletes are people first. Um, so they're going to go through the same uh, health issues and, and particularly mental health issues as, as everyone else. Um, I would just say uh, to athletes to, to um, have some courage to, to talk to someone, whether it be the coach or another adult, like a parent or a confidant or even another teammate sometimes, um, to, to just tell them how you're, how you're feeling and how you're thinking, and uh, you know, hopefully they can help you through it. Well said. Marco, let's get to this 2015 squad of TFC and busy, busy time in the offseason once again. Last year, we know with the full coming over and Bradley, Julio Cesar, d -Row, on and on. We thought for sure it was playoffs, but no playoffs once again. This year, Jovinko, Josie Altador, on and on we go once again. Do you believe, Marco, this time around, the right pieces of the puzzle are in place for this squad to get into the playoffs? Um, yeah, I, I mean, they put, a, they put together a nice little uh, squad. I, I believe last year, actually, that they had a, had a decent group. Um, Anthony, really, you, you never really know until, until they start playing games. Um, it, they're going to have, I, I would assume, probably three or four, probably five new starters. Um, and as you know, as you're well aware, uh, soccer is a, a tricky sport, and you've got to build a certain uh, atmosphere and chemistry. And, and the, the big buzzword of, of, the, of the today is culture. You've got to create this culture. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer that in talent overall will win, get, win you games. TFC has certainly uh, has. Um, They've brought together a lot of talent together, but it, I think it'll need some time to to gel. And you know, hopefully, they've got the personalities, um, you know, within the coaching staff and within the upper echelon of the, of the team itself to uh, take a leadership role and uh, pull the team together and get some results in the end, because that's what it's about. Marco, at six thirty, will be joined by TFC defender Mark Bloom, a guy that I'm pretty sure you've watched in the last year really have. A pretty decent season uh, for TFC. We see Nick Haglin, another youngster. And then we see Caldwell, uh, the captain. And then we see Perkis, the Polish international that has come on board. Do you think that is enough to shore up that back end? Or do you think that they need to still do more for that back end? Um, I, I know that they've just brought in some, another defender from Seattle to add some depth to the back line. I'm glad that they re-signed uh, Mark Bloom. Um, you know he's not spectacular, and I think he'll he'll say that himself. But he was I th I think he was the lone steady player at the back. You could rely on him. Made few errors, got forward, makes good decisions out of the back. Um, so I'm glad that he's back. Um, I'm a believer in team defending, Anthony. I, I know that everyone will say uh, their defending's been lousy, and everyone will blame the back four. Or, or you know I I'm a believer in in team defending. It starts at the top. Will Josie Altidore do his, his work steering, you know, the play in one way to make it predictable for the people behind him? Um, will the, the, the central uh, midfielders protect the, the, the two center backs? Will the team stay cohesive and tight and, and close gaps? 
altogether? You know, that, those are the questions for me. It's, will they be organized enough to sort of hide uh, maybe the, um, the limitations of people in their back four? Marco, let me ask you this. I had the opportunity to watch Chris Manala last year in League One with TFC Academy, and I thought, uh, you know, he should have been up a lot longer, a lot earlier uh, with the first squad. And I think this guy is going to surprise a lot of people. And then I look at Manny Aparicio, uh, Jordan Hamilton. When do you believe these three young men will get the opportunity to step in? Do you believe that they do need to have an opportunity to be uh, put in situations where they can learn? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I think that the best thing to happen to, to those three youngsters is uh, TFC getting a, a USL pro team. Um, I know that they were playing resi games, and some of them went down to uh, USL pro on loan. Um, there's a big, big gap between uh, academy games and resi games and first team football. Um, these boys will get a chance to play week in and week out against other pros. Um, and play play in meaningful matches, and that'll be the best thing they, that that could happen to them. Really, what what I think the USL Pro team does is just gives these guys a larger window um, where they can actually see if they're they're going to be strong enough for the first team. Um, I don't know if any of them are quite ready to step into TFC's first team at the moment. Um, they'll probably get some time on the bench, but will. Are they ready for a 90-minute game week in and week out? I, I would say no. I think they need maybe one or two years in USL Pro, and hopefully uh, that bodes well for them. And if they have success there, then I'm sure a coach like Greg Vanny will give them a shot with the first team in MLS.